Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big Baby JTV, man. Let's start this off with a like. Let's start this off with a like, bro. I'm saying road to 1K. I know a lot of y'all appreciate my content. I see the love. But I also check the analytics, bro. About 91 or 92 percent of my viewers are not subscribed to me. What's wrong with y'all, man? Why y'all shy? Okay. I deliver consistent content. I think I'm funny. Sometimes I make jokes. <laughs> Sometimes I'm controversial. I be talking on my ass, but I would really, really appreciate it if y'all started with liking the video. That way I can get in the algorithm and people who do want to subscribe, they will. If they don't want to, they won't. But smash the like, bro. Or just comment how much you hate this uh, this dark skinned Rondi's chocolatey gentleman talking to you. <laughs> Well, let's get into it, though. Justin Trudeau, man. Justin Trudeau, about a week ago, he went to the governor general, the new one, and decided to call an election, right? So, according to Canadian politics, uh, the prime minister can call an election um, according to his discretion. You know what I'm saying? And... The thing about this is that this election is going to be happening September 30th, right? I just want to remind y'all that the, you know, Liberal Party, the one that Justin Trudeau represents, is a minority government, meaning that they need coalition with other party members from either the NDP, Conservative Party, or the Greens, the Green Party, maybe even the Bloc Québécois, to get any motions or laws or any kind of regulations through parliament and then it goes to the senate where you know what i'm saying it's usually ratified by then now senate seats are usually decided by uh you know what i'm saying the the prime minister right so enough about canadian politics but let's get to the crux of the issue let's get to the core of it right in my opinion in my humble opinion I'm predicting, okay, I'm predicting, <laughs> y'all follow me, that Justin Trudeau is going to lose. He's going to lose to Aaron O'Toole, the conservative leader. He's going to lose. He's going to lose. And why do I say that? It's because the people who are super passionate about politics right now, the ones who are really going hard in the political sphere are not leftists, okay? Okay are not liberals okay they're conservatives okay now i'm gonna just say my whole bias right now i lean more towards the conservative side okay i used to be very liberal you know what i mean i used to be very very liberal and over time my thoughts and attitudes have changed what i really recognize here is that both sides period are a bunch of bs even the conservative side right but at the end of the day the way Justin Trudeau has handled himself within the years that he's been in power, he's been an embarrassment to Canada, period, right? And I'm not saying that Aaron O'Toole is the solution. I'm not endorsing him by any means, but I understand society. I understand the dynamics and optics and what people like, and I basically understand what people do not like. And people don't rock with Justin Trudeau at all, bruh. At all, okay? Especially the way he handled his cabinet. The way he handled his old governor general. The way he's handling the coronavirus. The way he's trying to put up bills that censor people more. The way the Canadians are frustrated with what's happening right now. I see more and more Canadians willing to go to the polls and get this guy out they're gonna get this guy out and i think it might be a crazy sweep and we saw this kind of happen in nova scotia which was which is east coast uh you know you know what i'm saying type of uh province where uh the conservatives won they weren't expected to win but they won because the people on the ground who are politically engaged are more on the conservative side these days right and Trudeau is thinking that he's slick by calling a snap election in the middle of a panini. You know what I'm saying? In the middle of a panoramic, right? In the middle of a pretzel, right? That he expects he's going to win. He's not going to win, bruh. 
This nigga is not gonna win because Justin Trudeau has had so many controversies, so many negative headlines that Canadians are fed up, right? They're done with him, okay? And I, you know what? It's almost reminding me of when uh, Trump got uh, kicked out of the the kicked out of the presidency because people were just done with him. Okay, it's not necessarily that. They believed in Joe Biden. I think it's very, very obvious after the Afghanistan disaster. You feel me? That Joe Biden is not a great, amazing president. He's probably he's not a really good president. It's just the people were so fed up of Trump that what they did is they voted against Trump. And the only guy that was there was Joe Biden. This is similar to what's going to happen to Trudeau. It's not that people like Aaron O'Toole. I, I, people probably don't even know him. It's not that people like Jagmeet Singh. People barely even know. It's just that they don't trust Justin Trudeau. And it's going to be a bloodbath. And I'm predicting it's going to be a landslide victory for the conservatives, man. Big Baby JTV, man. What y'all think, man? Should I cover more politics on this channel? (laughs) Yeah, probably get a lot of hate for that. But anyways, man, roll to 1K. Join the Patreon family. And I'm out, bro.